Greetings at Hebrews, my brothers and sisters. This is the high priest, L.D. Smith, the watchman on the wall. Family, as always, grab that King James, but first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to the whole family. Happy Sabbath, Israel. All family, that being said, we got a fine, fine teaching. And as always, I tell you, the most high, he is good to we, his people. I mean, all the time. Family, look, there is no one that you can compare to the most high. He is so wonderful. I mean, our mind cannot even conceive how good he is and how good he has been to us. Because family, if you go back, if you if you seriously go back and you think about it, he's been with us even from birth. As a matter of fact, he was he was with us even before birth because he he told my uh, cousin Jeremiah. He says, "I knew you before I even put you in the womb." <laughs> Y'all think about that. See, so the Most High knows all about us. Why? Because He made us. All right. Now let's go into our teaching. Now, as I always say, family, I want you guys to think about the reading, listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth. I want you to think about it. Now, also, family, let me give you guys a reminder. Check the link in the description for the playlist. Please do that. And then, guys, we post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday around 6 o'clock. So you can look for these videos. And make sure, make sure, family, that you hit that uh, 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 notification button that you will get everything that the most I have for you. See, because if you don't hit that notification button, then you don't know when the, uh, the video is posted. So uh, smash that uh, notification button. So when we uh, post, you will be notified, hey, the high priest has uh, 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 just sent, sent, sent me a video. And then you can sit down and then look at the video and then see what the Most High God has in it for you. Because family, he always has some for us. All right? Now, that being said, now we're going to go forward into our teaching. Now, as I always, I ask you guys to read along with us. I ask you to think about it. And honestly, family, I want you to think about it because, see, there's a lot of stuff that's out there on the Internet that's, that's information, but it's false information. And you can't be led astray in a, in a damaging, critical time uh, that we live in. You can't be led away. You, you must think and let the Most High Word lead and guide you because what the Most High says is true. Not what I say or what somebody else says. It is what the Most High says. That is true. Why? Because it is going to come to pass. Okay? And all I'm going to say is what the Most High has said and told me to say. Because that's what's going to come to pass. Nothing else. You can add to it all day long. That is not going to come to pass. You can take away from it all day long. That's not going to come to pass. You're going to get your feelings hurt. And not only your feelings, it might be everlasting shame and contentment. So let us go into our teaching now. I'm going I'm to show you something. God is not a woman, neither, is he, neither is, he, is he a man. He is the self-existing one. He's God. Now I'm going to show you these, these words right here. I want you guys to, to think about it. Listen to it. L listen to me. I'm going to say it again. The Most High God is not a man, neither is he a woman. Now, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you in words. I'm going to show you in words. All you got to do is just follow the words, and you'll see that what I'm telling you is, is facts. It's nothing but the truth. Now, let's, now let's go here into our teaching. Now, I'm a, let's go to our Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. Let's look at verses uh, 40 and 25. It says, To whom then will ye liken me, or shall I be equal, said the Holy One? So now you can see clearly there that ain't a woman. Neither man is equal to him. So why would you allow someone to put put a, 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 a specific thing on the most high God? Saying that, oh, well, 
he's a man or, or, or he's a woman. No, the Most High gave us the he and the she because he made the man and he made the woman. That's in our, our language. We call a man a he and we call a woman a she. God is outside that. God made this. God is not this. God made this. God made he and God made she. He is none of those. Even though that is in our vo vocabulary in order that we may, a, a, we may talk about him as a he. Because it's written in the pages that our ancestors call him he. Not only that, our ancestors call him our father. I'm going to show it to you. Now you stay with me now. Don't you go nowhere. Stay right here. Now, we see here that we, uh, you can't even care, compare a man to him, neither a woman, because he asks questions. Who can you compare to me? Now, let's keep on going. Now, let's go to Job. Let's go to the book of Job. Now, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you. See, because he says it explicitly. And if a person uh, doesn't have that kind of mind to understand something as simple as this, then uh, I, I, honestly, I don't know what to tell you. I don't. If you can't understand this, I don't know what to tell you. Now, let's look at Job chapter 9. Let's look at verses 32 now. Look what Job says. For he is not a man as I am. Talking about the most high God. He is not a man as I am. Like me. Man is what? Mortal. He's saying, the most high God, he's not mortal like me. It's simple. It's simple. He is not mortal like me. Look what he says. To, to show you that he can't compare himself to the most high, look what he says. As I am, that I should answer him and we should come together in judgment. In other words, I'm going to go back and forth with you. I'm going to say, no, 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 that ain't right. No, 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 no. He said, I can't go back and forth with him. See, I can go back and forth with a man in judgment and in conversation. But uh, I can't go back and forth with him. Why? Because what he says, that's the bottom line. I mean, honestly, if, if you can't understand this, then honestly, I don't know what to tell you. He says he is not a man like I am. I'm going to show you. Let's go to number. Watch this right here. See, because a lot of people, they go over here and they try to read this and then they say, oh, see that? See that? See that? Uh, uh, uh. He said he's not a man. Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man. Okay. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he not said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and he shall not make it good? See that? Now he says that God is not a man that he should lie. Now, think about this. I don't want you to be stupid. I, and see, I want you to think to yourself. Don't just think that it's saying just a man. Because a woman is a man. She is. She was made from man. So she is a woe man. Okay? So don't you think that, well, it's just, it's just saying that a man will lie. Women lie all, all the time. Everybody down here tell lies. At, at one time or another. So you can clearly see that he's not stating here specifically, well, it's just a man. Because that's all down here is man. Uh, the male man and the female woman. But if any women out there are listening, you, you can clearly see that you have told a lie before. And you probably still do. Nine times out of ten. So you can clearly see that he is not just talking about gender, you know, 
perspective. Let's let's keep it real. He's talking about the human race. A man was made, then a woman came out of the man, and it was slash woe man. In Genesis chapter 5, God called the woman and the man, both of them Adam. Go look it up. That's a project for you. See, but if you are one that of a, a, a small mind, then someone will tell you, well, he's just talking about a man here. No, he's not. Because you know yourself, you tell lies just like anybody else. Just like he told Adam, he was going to return to the dust from which he came. So you mean to tell me the only person that is uh, dying is men? You got to be out of your mind. If you let somebody talk to you with small mind like that, you are in trouble. Hello. You got a small mind. You got and 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 anybody can lead you any place because you 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 have a small mind and. You do not have any intelligence at all if you allow somebody to tell you this. You got to you got to know how to how to read the Bible. He said, he told Adam, he says, that you shall return from the dust from which you came. So now, okay, he told Adam that so only man is gonna die. Man, that's sad. I mean, honestly, that's sad when you let somebody tell you stuff like this. You got to think. Don't you have a mind? Think for yourself. Now, let's keep on going now. Look what it says. Now, let's go to uh, Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah 51. Let's read verse 11 and 12. Look what it says. Therefore, the redeemer of the Lord shall return and come forth singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon the head. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. I, even I am he that comfort you. Not her. I am he that comfort you. Look what he says here. Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die? Now, my question is this right here. Do you think that he's only talking about the male figure that is dying? Think about it. How many women are dying? Some of y'all mothers have died. If, if you look at this scripture here, you will say this, this scripture is a lie because my mother died, my daddy died, my sister died, my brother, I mean, all is right here. You can see that he's not just saying that a man. He's talking about the, the, the creation that he made, the man, and he made the woe man. Because women are dying every day. Huh? But he's saying, why should you be afraid of this that's down here with you? They, they can die. And will die. But I won't. I can't. I mean, honestly, it's, it, it's right in the pages. Look what he says there. And of the son of man which shall be made as grass. Y'all know what grass does. It, it flourishes, then it, it burns, and then it dies out and it fades away. It withers. It withers away, the grass of the field. Once the heat gets on it, it just withers and then it just fades away. See? Talks about the father and his son. They all die. But the women does too. Why should you be afraid? But now, y'all remember uh, Elijah, uh, he was scared of Jezebel, wasn't he? Didn't he? Man called down fire from heaven. 
kill all the prophets of Baal. Running from a woman. But now, if if only men die, why does she die? Why does she die? And the prophet told, told her before she died. This time tomorrow. The dog was eating it, wasn't it? <laughs> huh? Y'all know the story? So you can clearly see that when he says man in different areas, he's talking about every everyone down here. Because you can clearly see women die all the time. But he was afraid of Jezebel. And the most I killed him. Yeah, he did. So let's keep on going. Let's go to Psalm 68. Let's read verses uh, uh, 3. It says, <clears throat> But let the righteous be glad. <clears throat> let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Sing unto God, sing praises unto him, unto his name. Heaven, by uh, saying praise <clears throat> unto his name, exalt him that rideth upon the heavens. Ship flies upon the heaven, go in the place he want to go. Look what he says by his name, Jah. Jah is sort of like the name uh, came from Jehovah. Uh, Yahweh more or less the, when you look at it at the end it is the self-existing one yeah he's the self-existing one he doesn't need any help nobody's like him everything that was that you see that you know about that I've taught you about he made that so you can't compare nothing to him. Man or, man or woman. Male or female. You can't compare it. But he have given us an earthly father and he have given us an earthly mother. And we identify the male as he and the female as she. Okay? Now, when it comes to the most high, that's what he created. I created that. Do you guys remember in Genesis? Think about this right here now. Think about this. He said he created male and female, created he them. See that? Now, how can that that he created be like him? Or either be equal to him? It can't be. It can't be. Say so he made man in his likeness, not like him, not like him, but likeness where he has head, fingers, hands, torso, feet. Yeah, that kind. Not that he is like God. It's not. Even when he talks about Israel, he's, he, he calls them gods, G-O-D-S. Small G. Okay? Now let's keep on going. He says here, a father. This is what Jah is. This is what Jah did, the, the self existing one. Y'all see it? Not a mother. He says, a father to the fatherless and a judge to the widows. A husband. Be a husband to the widows. If you want to say that most is a woman, then you're saying that he, he, he a woman is is marrying uh, the widows. You got to be out your mind. You got to be out your mind. Please, don't be deceived. See, because I'm not telling you something that is not in the pages. All I'm asking you to think and then just look up words and you'll see you see for yourself. I'm not just telling you something randomly. You just, you just run. No, I'm telling you facts. And then look at the, look at the next word, comma. 
is God in his holy habitation. God sitteth, sitteth the solitary in families. God is singular. Huh? God is singular. He's the popular one. He's alone. When it comes to the families. Why? Because he created the first family. He created Adam then. Then he came back and he took, he took the real, which is the DNA out of Adam. And then he made another Adam, but she was a female. You had Adam the male and you had Adam the female. Both of them. I asked you to do your research. Go look into the chapter five for your own self. Make it a project. And then you will see what I'm saying. Because in the end, this, this will help you. The clock is ticking against you, I'm telling you. Time is of essence. Those that, that, that don't know the most high, listen to me. You had, your ass gonna be in trouble. You don't know the, you don't know the most high, you gonna be in trouble. You run around calling him a her. I mean, that is a disgrace. You calling him out of his name. And see, like God is a title. All these were titles that they gave him. They gave him different, different names. He says, my name is Jealous. They call him Jealous. He says, my name is I Am. I mean, all these different names. But he's God, the self-existent one. Now, let's keep on going here now. Look what he says here. Now, I'm going to show you. He bringeth out of those which are bound with change. But the rebellious dwelleth in their dry land. Now, let's keep on going because we're going to go on down to eight. Now, watch me now. Oh, God, when thou wentest forth before thy people, when thou didst march through the wilderness, Selah, the earth shook and the heavens also dropped at the uh, appearance of God. Even Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God, the God of Israel. Y'all see that? Y'all go back and read the story. When, uh, when he landed on Sinai, it say that the mountain quaked. Now, anybody know anything about an uh, 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 earthquake? You know things are, are moved around. The scripture don't lie. They don't lie. The scriptures don't lie. But let's keep on going. Let's, let's go here. <clears throat> let's go to Psalms 86. Now watch this. Let's go to Psalms 86. And then we're going to break off there. Psalms 86. Let's look at verse 7. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods, there is none like thee. Now, okay, now let me explain that to you. Remember the Most High said that he sent his terror out. He sent out the destroyer. He sent out fear. You know, when they was coming out of Egypt, going to different different, different uh, 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 countries, and, and they was overtaking them and, and whatnot, Israel looked at them and, and called those gods with a small g. O-D-S. But they said, out of all that we had seen terror do, out of all that we had seen the fear do, out of all that we had seen the destroyer do, they ain't nothing like you. Now, my question is, how can you classify a female, a woman, a woman, and make a woman like the Most High God and clearly you can see here that Israel saw all these entities that the Most High sent out. And, and they clearly say, none of those are like you. And not one woman on this planet ever did anything that the destroyer did that he sent out. Not one. Not one woman on this planet ever, ever did what his fear that he sent out. Nobody. So how can you compare a woman to the Most High God and he clearly says 
there's nothing that you can compare me to. And there's nothing that is left me. I'm alone. I am alone. But you allow somebody to tell you that. I'm telling you. It's going to be a sad day. But let's finish this off. Verse 10 say, For thou art great and doeth wondrous things. Thou art God alone. Ain't nobody like him. Ain't no man like him and ain't no woman like him. He is the self-existing one. So family, until next time, we say we love you guys. And also, again, we, we want you guys to check the link in the, de in the description for the playlist. All right. We air every Monday, Friday, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, three days a week. Smash that notification button so that you will be, be notified when we uh, 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 send out a video. These, these videos are crucial that you get this information. Why? Because the Most High is calling all of his family back. He loves us. So he's calling us back. He loves us so much, he says that we have an everlasting covenant. Huh? With loving kindness. You know, it's, it, it's almost like, I mean, well, it's, it's like this, but it's, but it's better than this. I can't stop loving you. I made up my mind. I made up my mind. I can't stop loving you. And that's in the pages. That ain't me. That ain't me. It's in the pages. But come to the next video and I'm going to show it to you. All praise. All praise. So family, you know, you know how to come together at the end of the broadcast. One mind, one voice, right? On the count of three. You ready? One, two, three. One word. One God. One people. One love. Peace. All praise, all praise, family. Listen, go back, ponder, imagine, think. Huh? Go to sleep with it playing in your ear. And I know that the most I will give you a clear understanding. Until our next uh, 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 teaching and our next meeting, our next Sabbath, we say shalom from over here to the high priest over the whole house of Israel. We love you guys.